So one of the questions we have here at the Buffalo Bills owner mode on the Sports by Schmucks channel is what are we going to do with Scott Chandler? He already said he didn't want to resign with us after we tried to negotiate with him early in the, uh, the first week of the season, I believe it was. He said no. So you know what? We got to get something to replace him with. And we're going to look at Indianapolis, Kobe Fleener here, trying to get him. We're going to offer a second round pick, a fifth round pick, and our lowest uh, wide receiver on our depth chart, I'm trying to say here. And you know what? They took it. So we have a tight end of the future now with uh, Scott Chandler looking to go somewhere else in the offseason. And because he wants to leave, let's put him on the trade block, see if someone's going to be willing to take him. And we'll get back to that in the next episode once we see if there's any offers. So Kobe Fleener is going to take Scott Chandler's spot onto the depth chart here as we face the Cleveland Browns on in prime time on a Thursday night special. And because of that, we get this really cool introduction here for the Buffalo Bills that I want you guys to take a look at. This place is pandemonium. It's another blustery day at the Ralph. To another hero leading the charge. To finish for the fans. These are the Bills. Yeah, there was one for the Browns, but who cares? Uh, that just gave me, I'm a, I'm a Bills fan, so that, you know, that was really cool for me as we welcome EJ Manuel into Cleveland Browns Stadium for the first time of his career as he goes off against 29-year-old sophomore Brandon Whedon. And the Browns are going to get the ball first here as Whedon drops back in the pocket, lobs it downfield, and I have no idea what McKelvin was doing there, but he gives up a big reception to Richardson. Oh, he gets a nice block and picks up a first down for the Browns here to open up the game. 17 yards already on two rushes. Whedon now lobs it to uh, to Shanko uh, there. Oh, well, oh, don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, second and one now. Whedon looking for somewhere to go with the ball. Throws it downfield. McKelvin this time makes a beautiful interception. But can't tiptoe the sideline, but still, it counts. As Manuel comes on the field now with his numbers, eight TDs to six interceptions so far. And in a second and nine, Manuel with a quick slant over to Doug Baldwin, who fumbles the ball. And Clements picks it up, gets a couple yards for himself. And that sets up the Browns with a great field position as Richardson now spins around, breaks a tackle, but then gets dropped after gaining seven more yards. Now on second and three, Richardson up through the middle, picks up the first down and more after stiff-arming a defender to gain another 10 yards, it looks like, uh, uh, 10 yards or so about there. And now a soft pass over to, to Greg Little there for four and inches. The Browns would kick a field goal. So second and 10, Bills were trying to respond. Johnson can't hold on to the... To the catch there he probably should have had it hit his hands but it's going to set up a third and ten and on that third and ten johnson this time hangs on to the football as he tiptoes the sideline for 12. and yeah he's going to throw some trash talk at joe hayden there saying you can't get me today so second and five now spiller up the middle and he gets just enough for the first down to extend this drive now with little time left in the first quarter spiller just gets stopped short setting up first fourth and inches and the Bills will go for it. And they manual with all day, just kind of sneaks it up the middle, gains the first down and more. So first and 15, Manuel runs away from pressure. Johnson with the spin move, he's at the 20, and no one's going to catch him as he crosses the goal line. Touchdown, Buffalo Bills. A beautiful spin move in the open field by Steve Johnson. And we're going to take another look at that here. And he just leaves Joe Hayden in the dirt. And... A beautiful play by the Bills wide receiver. So third and six now for the Browns. Whedon has all day to throw. Finds Shanko again. And he gets tackled forward. They bring out the chains. And it is just good for the first down by the tip of the football. So third and ten now. Whedon looking around in the pocket. And Williams makes him fumble. But Joe Thomas jumps on the ball. And... We have an injury timeout, but he would come back later in the game as C.J. Spiller now takes the punt on 4th and 15. And he tries to reverse field. He's trying to get the edge. He gets a block. He gets the 50 into Bangle, uh, Brown's territories, I should say. And that's a 1st and 10 for Buffalo. Trying to add to their 7-3 lead as they go across the middle to Goodwin. The speedy Goodwin not known for going across the middle, but this time he does with success. 1st and 10 now, Emmanuel. Looking around, finds Fleener who drops it. That was his first attempt 
as a Buffalo Bill here in the second quarter. See if he can rebound later. A spiller now up the middle on second down to gain seven yards. Third and three. Play action to spiller. Manual could have thrown up, but he says, you know what, I'm going to run for some extra yards. And he picks up a penalty as the Browns are going to get flagged there for unnecessary roughness since he was already out of bounds. So that decision to run paid off for the Buffalo Bills. So it's now first and goal from the nine for Manuel. He's looking around, looking around, but he gets sacked. Now second and goal over the middle to Fleener, who can't get into the end zone, but gets down to the two-yard line with his first catch as a Buffalo Bill. Gets for 12 yards. Good start for the new tight end for the Bills. Sorry, I was almost burped there. Anyways, Fred Jackson picks it up on third and goal as I'm talking about burping. 14-3 for the Brown, for the Bills over the Browns, but Trent Richardson's going to try and get back. And, oh, man, terrible tackling for the Bills. And uh, that was Gilmore there finally bringing him down after taking the angle, but huge game for Trent Richardson. Not something you hear very often. Anyways, Richardson back at it. He fumbles the ball, but it bounces right to an offensive lineman for the Browns. Second and two now. Whedon looking for somewhere to go with it. Lobs it over to Shanko, who says, Get out of my face to Leotis McKelvin and goes in for the touchdown. Huge stiff arm and broken tackle there. And the Browns are only down four now. So with Spiller at the ball on the read option, gets eight yards there. Second and two now. Manual drops back to throw. And he he's trying to find Fleener there, but he was covered. There's just a terrible mistake by the rookie. And that's going to be a touchdown. Pick six for the Browns. And... I don't know if Manuel just didn't see him or not, but you've got to be able to pick up the defender there who's able to take it back for a pick six. So it's now 17-14 to 14 with under two left in the second. And the Bills are looking to get more points as Doug Baldwin gets another gain over the middle. Second and one now. Play action. Manuel dumps it over to Baldwin again. He gets down to about the 41-yard line. But he's going to have to miss a couple of pay plays due to an injury. Or is that Goodwin? Might have been Goodwin. I might have read that wrong. Anyways, Johnson uh, with the reception there. And then second and 10 now over the, the middle on the slant to Robert Woods, who gets enough for the first down. Now trying to get some more plays in. And oh, Kruger drops back into coverage. Fools EJ Manuel. And that's the second pick of the second quarter. And that's going to send it to halftime at 17 14 for the Browns, who are out rushing the Bills. But it's pretty even other than that. When it comes to uh, passing, well, other than passing yards, because the offense has been more in the uh, in the running game for the Browns. Anyways, floating it over to Stevie Johnson, who somehow makes that catch. That's his fourth catch of the day, good for 97 yards. You see, Manuel's day pretty impressive too, with 180 through the first half. Now Manuel scrambling to the outside. He's going to get a a pick almost from uh, look like Robert Woods there. Now first and ten, same drive. Manuel drops back over the middle to Fleener, who hangs on despite the contest. And it's going to be first and ten, which Manuel will throw again on over to. Looks like he was trying to find. Uh, looks like he's trying to find Doug Baldwin or Marcus Goodwin. I'm going to say Baldwin there, but Kruger jumps up, picks it off. His second interception of the day. It was Doug Baldwin indeed, and that's not good news for the Bills' first round draft pick. Second and eight now for the Browns. Richardson up the middle gets brought down on second and eight after a gain of five. So third and three now. The Browns looking to go through the air to pick up this first down. Weeding just kind of running around. Williams just going to catch down, catch up to the 29-year-old as Williams gets a second sack of the day, forcing a Browns punt. Huge play for the Buffalo Bills to keep this game within three. Is Manuel now two and a half minutes left to go in the third? Finds Robert Woods now with Fleener in motion. Play action to Spiller, but Manuel gets sacked. Should have audibled out of that play. His screen, who mainly had the pick six, gets the sack. Manuel now, oh, speaking of picks, picked off by Dequell Jackson, and he gets brought down. And we'll see the replay here as he drops back into coverage, looking for Fleener, and he, I guess he just didn't see Jackson there, but that's something the young quarterbacks have to pick up on. Third and eight now, Whedon looking for somewhere to go, finds it an open man, and it's dropped. Breston had a sure touchdown, but dropped the pass. Oh, Gilmore got lucky. Chodinski's fi fired up. I shouldn't say fired because that's not in this game. Anyways, pick again for Whedon. That was by Ward. They were also a six tackle. So the Browns are up six now in the fourth quarter, just at the start of it as Little picks up a first down. Third and three now. 
We didn't look for somewhere to go with it. Oh, to the sideline. And that's Breston who had to come back from out of bounds. So it's going to be an illegal touching penalty. Gives the Bills the ball back. As Spiller gets to the outside, gets around to the corner, gets down to the 47. Lots of gets there, but it was a nice play by Spiller all the same. Third and 10, Manuel finds a Doug Baldwin on the right sideline there. Gets that knocked out of bounds. That's his fifth catch of the day. Again, taking advantage of Hayden in the secondary. Second and 10 now. Manuel gets sacked. He should have got rid of the should have gotten rid of the ball, but it's a young quarterback who's gonna have to make those. He's going to make those mistakes. It's just like that. Third and 16, Manuel trying to rally the Bills. Someone over the middle. Touchdown, Robert Woods. And the Bills take are going to take a one-point lead in this game, 21-20. And Woods just found a seam in the middle of the field. Manuel found him. Huge play by the rookie QB. Now, miss, bad missed tackle again. Bird is able to come down and knock up Shanko. Third and three now. Whedon over to Shanko again, who gets some running room down at the 41 yard line Whedon again now on the screen to Trent Richardson and he's got some room to run he's got a blocker too he gets down to the 40, 36 yard line I should say of the Buffalo Bills and the Browns look to be at least going to be getting in field goal ter territory already as Trent Richardson is getting down and it's going to be knocked out of bounds looks like Greenwood got the last knock setting up a first and goal play for the Bills Whedon drops back he looks to throw oh it's picked off by Hughes huge Game saving play by Hughes there. Steps in front of the pass, picks off the weed and throw, and the Bills are back in life. Ma uh, Manuel couldn't get anything going on that on that down. So it's gonna be first and ten for the Browns. Over the over the sideline finds Josh Gordon, who's been quiet most of the game. Weedon now looking around, finds Trent Richardson just short of the first down. Sent up th uh, it's third and nine. They bring out the sticks, and yes, it's just short. But the Browns are in field goal territory. So fourth and one from the 21. They're going to kick it. And it is right down the middle. The Browns are up 23-21 with a minute 18 left to play. Does the rookie have it in him to lead the Bills down this, uh, down the field here? As he finds Doug Baldwin. Baldwin gets into Browns territory. And that's going to set up a first down on the next play. Over to Woods on the sideline who gets out of bounds after gaining three stopping the clock. Now second and seven. Again, working the sideline. Gets it to Stevie Johnson, who gets knocked out of bounds. Setting up another stoppage of play. And first down. Fleener again, working the sideline. That's another first down. Manuel was looking really impressive on this drive. Second and six. Fred Jackson up the middle. He picks up a first down. And the Browns are going to have to burn their timeouts. The Bills make it to knock it down to three seconds left. The snap, the kick. And it's good. Hopkins makes the game-winning field goal. The Bills win on the last second of a Thursday night thriller. 24-23, beating the Cleveland Browns. There you see it. They completely outpassed the Cleveland Browns, but the rushing yards were kind of balanced. Anyways, after that thrilling game, got to catch my breath a little bit. The Bills are going back home to play the Cleveland Browns. Bills surprising 4-1, second in the division. They're tied with the Patriots, but hey, anything can happen. You see it there. Follow us on Twitter, Sport by Schmucks. We also have a Facebook page. It's in the description. See you later, guys.